What is Source? Source is God. But it's not the God that you think of in terms of it's the separate entity that's controlling life like chess. <laughs> it's everything that is is Source energy. It's just expressing itself differently. So this Source energy behind me is expressing itself as a book. The Source energy that is me is expressing itself in this body, you see. And it is all there is. There is nothing outside this. Because everything that is, is this extension of source energy. We are in this very strange dimension where we have free will, but we're also sort of living out something that's faded. I'll explain. <laughs> to begin with, we are in the space of oneness. This is before this life, this is in the very beginning. We're in this immense space of non-separation. That source, if you will, energy, had its first desire, its first thought, you could say, and that was to know itself. You have to know yourself from the concept of separateness. It's the same as you can't stand in black and know black. You have to stand in white to know black, and vice versa. So we are in these physical bodies, these separate physical bodies, which is as separate as it gets so that we can gain awareness of what oneness is. So, because of this, basically, Source is knowing itself through ev absolutely every thought that's ever been thought. This is how it knows what it is. So, we are Source. So in our lives, we are living out, sort of, we're doomed to think, we'll put it this way. We're doomed to think and we're doomed to desire. So that is a form of having no free will. That's sort of being played, but we're being played by our very selves because we are Source. So it's not like somebody else is in control of us. We are in control of us. We've just lost touch with our higher selves. Mm -hmm. But we have free will of choice, of thought in this life. Mm -hmm. So one can perhaps tap into their, their true self yes. or higher self and then kind of regain complete yeah. control. Yes. And then and then you don't feel like it. you feel like it's you making all the decisions. So to people who I guess sort of pride themselves on being very logical or scientific and they hear things like this or they analyze concepts like the zodiac and they think it's just a bunch of random things that we as humans just invent and then we find meanings in it yes like finding shapes in the cloud i would i would say that that's what science does what, what do you mean all science is is looking around and trying to draw a line from one thing to the other it is more more narrow-minded than even the things that they think are uh, of limited scope. It deals with the three-dimensional reality, which is not the only reality there is. Mm -hmm. Basically, you get to wait and play catch-up. If we were basing everything on science, the world would be flat. Because science evolves. It continually evolves. Mm -hmm. So we only are as advanced as our measuring instruments, which is pretty sad at this point. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, uh, these uh, tapes will exist far past I'm talking, you know, and we will have the ability to catch up with what many esoterics are saying. Mm -hmm. And at that point we'll say, oh, that person who we all thought was crazy, just like the first person that said the world was round, suddenly isn't anymore. So you feel that science will one day sort of harmonize with, with things at this point that traditional science would look at as uh, almost yes. pseudoscience. Our or... science will become multidimensional. It's just very slow to catch up. What is your overall view of where humanity is headed? Fantastic. This is, of course, what everybody's very interested in because of this recent onslaught of information about 2012. We have a lot of people focused towards apocalypse right now, and people like me are so excited. I look around at everybody that's in my experience and say, oh, this is fantastic. We all came down for this exact moment. This is why so many of the personalities are very intense today. It's because we dove into a very, very catalytic time. We looked at this and knew that it would be very rapid change. And 
we are evolving as a species very fast. We're at the, the point of the hundredth monkey, I like to say. So in science, essentially, you'll watch X amount of years where a, a species basically, at least physically, stays the same. And then suddenly, it shifts. We're at that point as a human race. But this shift is going to be towards spirituality. So it's very exciting to people like me. Um, why now? Why, why is it happening now? Because the, it's a collective desire. Things happen on a, on a grand scale when... So you're, you're individually, basically, you're evolving based on your desires. So you desire something, and out of that desire, essentially, is born the means to achieve that desire. And when you finally get there, all of physical life will change in order to match that changed frequency. Because a desire, a new thought, is a frequency which the physical must follow. So this is the reason for species evolution. If collectively a species is wanting things that can't be satisfied through their current physical structure or something like this, or current environment, either the species disappears or the species changes. So we are at a point where the human race has desired enough that we are now in the middle of that shift. We will eventually, I think, not have physical bodies as a human race. That's way down the line, but this is basically the turning point. It seems like the, um, the idea about 2012, I mean, there's kind of a connection with like the mind calendar and things like this, yes. as if, as if this, this particular period in our history has been known about for some period. It, is there any validity to that, or yes. did we just create our own self-fulfilling no. prophecy? Well, it's both. That's why you know things. It's because you're basically creating it. The reason that people are so good at, at being prophetic is they're just reading the vibration that is. We haven't deviated so much to not be a match to what is. This is why uh, if you're going to go visit a future reading, a person who reads what your future is going to be, it's only a future that's a match to you vibrationally now. When I sit with a person, I see three life paths for them at all times. Humans who are practicing the same thought patterns don't tend to change enough in their lives to make those three paths change often. So you can predict, just based on that, what a person's outcome is going to be. But it's just like gambling. If a person was going to you know, change their vibration enough to attract a circumstance like a car wreck into their life, one day, and that car wreck changed the way they view the entire universe, they could change their vibration enough to change all three pa paths in their life. So there is absolutely no such thing as a future that's decided for you. So what they were doing basically years ago was reading the way that the vibration was and understanding what is a match to that, and that is the entire evolution of the human species at this certain point. So yes, they, many people predicted this. And do you think, so do you think that there is more, I guess, truth, as it were, available now than there yes. has been in previous... Yes, because we're, we're starting to awaken. The human race at large is starting to awaken to the divinity within. And that opens you up to an entire... It, it puts you in an objective realm, basically, where you're able to view the fact that you create everything that is. Once you understand that, every life as it is changes. We did, our desires are different. We're no longer sitting down here on this planet worried about who's going to get what country. Our entire priority shifts, so the human race shifts. Are there other, I guess, I guess you could say, are there other human beings that have gone through this same process in the history of the universe? Are we the first and only? If it had been done already on a mass scale, then we wouldn't be doing it. It would have already been done. I mean like another group of human beings, and somewhere out in the universe. Oh yes. Th th they've gone through this same process. A similar process. <laughs>